Hey guys, Chris again from Classic VW Bugs. A comment in this video I want to talk to you about the Bosch O. 1.0 distributor and the Bosch 019, the cast iron distributor. You guys know that I use this, these distributors a lot in my early motors, the 36 horsepower motors, 40 horsepower motors, uh, all the way up to uh, 1600 single port. Um, I've spoken about this before with 36 horse and, and getting an Abarth muffler uh, that you see here to boost the 36 horsepower uh, to give it a little extra horsepower, you know. Um, sometimes you get anywhere between four to five extra horse with an Abarth muffler and you go with this distributor. Now the thing is with these distributors, the 010, the 019, if you look on eBay, you look on the Samba and try to find these guys rebuilt, they're pretty pricey. You're talking, you know, I see them $300, some close to $400, maybe more. Uh, just to find a core uh, to rebuild, I'm seeing them for $100, $150. Sometimes you might get lucky if you see something on eBay in a stash of things and you buy it. Um, and I like the 010 uh, distributor on the 36 horsepower motor and then once you get to the 40 horse I like the 019 and use that all the way up to 1600 single port. Uh, you might have problems if you go into a dual port motor because it does not have a vacuum advance on it and I recommend going with the stock vacuum advance distributor when you're running a dual port motor because it's problematic with the, the 34 pick carbs that came later. Uh, but the advanced curve on these is really nice. Um, but if you don't have the, the budget to get something like this and you still want that vintage look, I'm telling you, we came across on CIP1.com, JBugs.com, they now sell, it's called Coltec Distributor, and they do say 010 on it if you can see that. And they call it cast iron, Bosch, or, you know, resemblance, something of that nature. And it's only a hundred bucks. And technically what it is, is it's just really an 009 distributor, just kind of dressed up to look like these. Okay, not too bad. And if you're not so concerned with the name, of course, Coltec, but the overall look itself, it has the badge, it's got the black casing. Uh, it comes with the, the brown, uh, distributor cap, it comes with the points, the condenser, it comes with everything, basically drop in, ready to go in your motor, and it looks like a vintage piece. And for a hundred bucks, you really cannot go wrong, guys. Um, you know, I think you're still going to get a bit better advance when it comes to using the originals, the cast iron, the Bosch's, but you know what? The average person is probably not going to be able to tell the difference in performance, um, especially with these little motors and if you're just puddle jumping around town and if you just want that vintage look that's going to work, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I would even suggest, say you do go with getting one of these and you have it in your car and you're traveling somewhere and you break down, it's good to have these as a backup. You could always take out the Bosch uh, cast irons, the 010 or the 019 and go with this and throw this in if you have like a a toolkit or something that you can quickly swap. Um, really, I mean, nice quality. Um, like I said, they're only about a hundred bucks, as opposed to paying three, four hundred dollars for these. Uh, if the performance is there and you can get in and go, uh, damn, it's not too bad. Um, so we've been uh, we've been building a couple motors and we've been trying these out. Um, I have yet to really do a road test with. Uh, this distributor, but uh, we bench tested this uh, this motor here that we just finished building for a client that's going into this this ragtop right here that you see, this evergreen ragtop. So this 36 horsepower build, stock motor, with the, he wanted an Abarth and he wanted uh, that, uh, that distributor, that vintage looking distributor, so we have it here. And uh, just running it on the bench, it, it turned out great. Um, it sounds awesome, it, it, there's no hesitation. Um, 
seems like it, it advances nicely when we, when we put a timing light to it. So, I don't know, something I recommend. Uh, if you guys want to look into getting this, go, just go to CIP1.com or you can go to JBugs. I've seen it there. And like I said, around $95, $100, and it's all together. You get the cap, uh, uh, you get the distributor com totally complete. Just drop in into your block and you're ready to go. Um, really cannot beat that, guys. So if you want the vintage look and you don't have the money to spare to go to one of these, go to one of these. All right, guys. If you have any questions, got any comments below, if anybody has uh, used this distributor on the road, and could verify its performance, that would be great. Uh, but technically, if it's an 009, I've used 009s before, and they work just fine. Uh, so that's it, guys. Uh, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com, or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care.